Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Nadia from the Carlinville Public Library and I was really missing you guys. So I thought I would try to bring story time to you through YouTube videos. So first off, I wanted to give you some information before I start. Um, here's our all the Carlinville Public Library contact information. I thought you would need the website. Um, also, we have Facebook and Instagram just to keep you up to date about our estimated reopening and possibly if you needed to um, upload or download some electronic um, resources like some ebooks. I know your cloud library, um, the your cloud library app has picture books for you guys so mom and dad could upload those onto your tablets you could do that but there's also some other electronic resources on there that you could use um or at least you could go to the, our, our our website and fi and uh, find your way to those free resources so um also, I mean just to make sure you remember we have Facebook and Instagram so I wanted to make sure um, you guys can look us up and see when we open again and when we start story time again. So, all right. I miss you guys so much and all the things we used to make and all the, the games we used to play. Today, I have two spring-related books. One features a, a cute little duck and the other one features mud, which are very, very important things to spring. So the first one's called the Cold Little Duck, Duck, Duck. And it's written by Lisa Westgate Peters. And the pictures are by Sam Williams. And it's printed by the Green Willow Books and imprint of Harper Collins Publishers. And I chose this book. It's about spring and a little duck comes upon his pond. And it's not quite thought out because it hasn't been that warm. Sometimes spring is slow, and so things are still snowy or icy. So, but the thing I need you to help me with is to say some of these words. They're fun words. So I'll say a certain word more than once. Like in this title, it says, Cold Little Duck, Duck, Duck. I'd love it if you would go ahead and say, Duck, Duck, Duck with me. So let's get started. Cold little duck duck. One miserable and frozen spring. Brisk, brisk, brisk. A cold little duck flew in. What do ducks say? They say, brack, 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 brack. And her pond was stiff and white. Say it with me. Creek, creek, creek. And her feet froze to the ice. Stuck, stuck. You're way too early, duck. Go back, back, back. You're beginning to shiver, duck. Shake, shake, shake. She tucked her head into her feathers to think, think. Think of spring in warmer weather. Quick, quick, quick. Of bubbly streams and glassy puddles. Drink, drink, drink. Of wiggly worms and shiny beetles. Black, black, black. Of crocuses 
and apple buds. Pink, pink, pink. And blades of grass in squishy mud. Snack, snack, snack. Her thoughts of spring filled the sky. Thick, thick, thick. Can you see the pictures? In the clouds, sometimes clouds take different shapes. Can you see some? I see a lot of ducks in those, those clouds. Until a V of ducks flew by. Flock, flock, flock. They saw that spring was in the air. Blink, 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 and quickly spreading everywhere. Look, look, look. You see some of those different animals. The ducks flew down, they dipped and splashed. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Come join us, duck. It's melting fast. Shrink, shrink, shrink. The cold little duck began to slide. Slick, slick, slick. <gasps> Across disappearing ice. Crack, crack, crack. She wiggled her tail, waggled her wings. Kick, kick, kick. The warm little duck dove into spring. Quack! Quack, quack. So I was wondering, I wonder if you saw any of those signs of spring. I've seen some flowers out and I've seen the grass turning green and it's getting really long. And I've seen little ladybugs and I've seen some flies and I've seen some wiggly worms. So I wonder what you guys have seen out there. Our next story is called Mud by Mary Lynn Ray. It's illustrated by Lauren Stringer and printed by Voyager Books, Harcourt, Inc. Look at those feet and that squishy, squishy mud. That would feel really, really neat. And this book has a lot of really neat, fun words like squishy. But of course, spring doesn't start squishy. It starts off cold. And one night, it happens. Maybe it begins in the warm of the day. And night only releases the scent. Look at it. Melting. But it's always at night that it happens. Someone opening a door will notice. Earth comes unfrozen. A cold, sweet smell rises in the ground like sap in the snow. Look at it's still cold and snowy.
By morning, round leaves loosen from their frozen drifts and run rattling in the flapping wind. Small scattered stones where the sun has seen them will thaw pools of grass. The pool of water. The hills will remember their colors. See, they're slowly turning green again. Winter will squish, squawk, sop, splat, slurp, melt in mud. Happy mud. Can you see his hands squishing through that mud? Stir it. Stick it, look it. He's got a spoon and a stick and he's stirring it. Very messy, but very, very fun. Dig it, dance it. <gasps> look it. He's got a shovel. Gooey. Gloppy, mucky, magnificent mud. It's got two hands full of mud. Come spring, come grass. Come green. I like this book. It's, it's a messy book, but it's a good book. I like all the words like squishy and splat, splat and sploosh. Good books. So though, that's story time and I miss you guys. I can't wait till the library opens again and we can play. So I'll see you next time. I'll try to put out another video for next week. And I'll see you. Stay healthy. Make sure you wash your hands all the time. And get along with everyone. I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.